We are in the series of knowing him. Today we are look at Elohim. Elohim Okay. Can we say knowing him? Knowing him. Right, knowing him. Right. The word know in Hebrew is yada. No, 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 it's a galong, uh, English, no, no, so it's a galong, uh, he, 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 and justice, so that the Lord may bring upon Abraham what he has spoken about him. This is God speaking to Abraham. God say, I have chosen him. The original Hebrew is yada. Direct translation is, I have know him. This meaning of known, yada, is the meaning of enter into covenant together. God say, I have, uh, the verse again, please. God say, I have yada him, means I have entered into a covenant together with him. So it's important now we are looking at knowing him. We want to enter into a covenant together with God. Okay. The question is, what is in the name? Think about it, we all have name. The answer is a lot. There are a lot in God's name. They are also speaking a lot on our own name. My name is Lian Hui. In Chinese word, it means continuous wisdom. So it's a desire of my parents want to see me continuous in wisdom, so they name me Lin Hui. Have a look at the scripture. Scripture also tells us God changed somebody's name to reflect his new reality. Look at the name Abraham. Abraham, no? Abraham was exalted father. Abraham was God changed his name from Abraham to Abraham to reflect the new reality, father of multitude. Jacob actually means heel grabber, deceiver. God changed his name to reflect the new reality, Israel. Peter's original name was Simon. Jesus said, you are Simon, son of John, you shall be called Kephas. Kephas is Hebrew word, the Greek word is Peter. So it's important the name. Knowing God deepens, open up our heart. One, to 
to know his character, two, to experience his power. Amen. Right. God revealed different names to us so that we can understand different perspectives of his names. Whenever God wants to demonstrate a new perspective of his character, he always does it by reviewing a new name. Right? Okay, let's have a look at how shall we treat the names of God? Right. Psalm 8, have a look. <coughs> Psalm 8. Do we have? No, Psalm 8. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Never mind. And the Lord's prayer in Matthew 6, the Lord taught us to pray, Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. The Sunday school student pray this prayer. Our Father in heaven, hello, what is your name? Sunday school, hello, hello, sit down there. But actually, it's hallowed be your name. Right. Hello is the same root word with the word holy. Hallowed be your name is holy. Be your name. The meaning is teaching us to set apart or sanctify the name of God. So we need to treat it with honor, treat it with respect, the names of God. Psalm 29, verse 1 to 2. Can okay, we read together English and Burmese? Give unto the Lord, O you mighty ones. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due to his name. Amen. That's just a little bit of introduction of why is it important to know the name of God. Let's have a look today's Elohim. Elohim means the strong creator God. Elohim Right. Elohim was the first name God revealed to us in the scripture. Elohim Right. In Genesis 1 1, it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Right, so the word God is Elohim. Well, why did God choose to reveal himself as Elohim at the beginning? Because God wants to prove to us and want to inform and tell us that He is different. Right? First of all, God Himself is outside of creation. That's why He can make His creation. God is not an animal, He is not a plant. He said, Let there be light, there shall be light, and therefore He must be outside of creation. The Bible told us in the beginning God creates. So, 
Elohim is above time. He is outside of time since he created time. Right. The only thing that outside of our time is eternity. God lives in eternity. We, for now, live in according to time. Alright. And then another thing is God is present tense. For you and I, when we talk, we talk about yesterday, what happened, today, what happened, and tomorrow, what will happen. To God, everything is now. He has no past, he has no future. To God, everything is now. You know, when we go to heaven, that we will be with a God of now. Right, let us have a look at a few characteristics of Elohim. Elohim the So what is the meaning of Elohim? See, God is not just created time, He also created space. Before God created man, Adam and Eve, He created space first for them to dwell in. So in order for God to create space, He Himself must sit outside of the space. Right? God exists when space did not. See, for God to be outside of time and space, He must exist in another dimension beyond that. That means He is operating in another realm. That's why, my friend, in our life, sometimes we say, oh, we cannot understand God. Of course, we cannot understand God because God is in another realm. Has you seen the clock? Uh, the clock has mm. got first hand, second hand. Some clock has got two, tick, 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 tick. Some clock got the, the second, three. The job of the clock is just to tick, 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 tick. The job of the clock is not to figure out the event of the world. It's just like our job. Our job is just taking our life one day at a time. We can never understand God unless God chose to reveal Himself to us. Sorry, can I have the camera at the back to point to the stage, please? Right? Okay, so uh, try not to be so capable and so sasu. Right? We just do our job and God in another realm, God will show it to us. God is operating from another realm, but God also in within our realm. Have a look at Jeremiah 23:23 to 24. Can we read the Burmese version? Right, 
See, Elohim created the heaven and earth, therefore he sits outside of the heaven and earth that he has created. Elohim Yet God Elohim, when he created heaven and earth, he is also feeling himself in among heaven and earth. Therefore, God's footprint is everywhere among us. That's the word omnipresence. God's presence is in everywhere at the same time. Right? Okay. Okay, give you uh, illustrations of omnipresence of God if we trying to imagine. Think about air and gravity. Everywhere you go, the air is the same, but certain places are a little bit more polluted, that's all. Gravity also everywhere you go in the world, the gravity is the same. So it's just for us to think a little bit about God's only presence. He is everywhere. He is feeling in his creation. So the first characteristic, God is only present. Uh, uh, he revealed it to Elohim. Elohim to turn to your neighbor and say, Elohim is omnipresent. Elohim is omnipresent. Okay, Amen. second characteristic, Elohim is personal. My friend, this is so important for us that our God is a personal God. He takes personal interest on each and every one of us. God didn't create us like a factory production. Everyone looked the same, think the same. No, he is a personal God. He took personal interest upon everyone and each of us created differently. Let's have a look at Genesis 1, 3 to 5. Let's read the Burmese version. Let me read it for you. Elohim personally created a dwelling place for us to dwell. He could have just sent his guardian angels to create, but he didn't want to do that. He wants to do it himself. I have a small little corner of gardens outside my house. Just a very small one, but I enjoy doing that. Enjoy a little bit touch of the nature. I often think of, oh, Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. God walked with them and speak to them. God can also talk to me in my garden. What a person God we have. Amen. So God Elohim is both omnipresent and he is also personal. This Elohim is a God who understands what you are going through. Not only he understands as a personal God, he also has a created power. 
ti na le yun ni mga ubo no. Di yaga ni bro, ang mga buhay ang dwa swan na gugu le tu piyaga pinay na apsi de. God can create and God can recreate. Piyaga pansin na indi lo atip yan bro le pansin na apsi de. That's why he sent his Holy Spirit to be with each and every one of us because he is a personal God. Tu ga personal God apsi de dwa jang mo no. Tan shano wunye no gule, di yaw sida ang dwa piyaga pita na apsi de. So God is omnipresent. Can we say omnipresent? Omnipresent. And God is personal. 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 God. And then the third one, God is plural. Plural, bono. Uh, uh, right. Scripture uses both singular and plural pronouns when we talk about Elohim. Elohim singular ne. That's why God is a triune God. Have a look at Genesis 1, 26 to 27. ตะพันพญาตะเกงะงารุปုံตะเรเนอะญีตะเรลูโกพันซินจาโซตูดีเปลนงารุโกละกาวโมกาวเกงเฮตุโกละกาวตายินโนโกละกาวมีดิเปล
But after God speak to him, how to speak to her again, she said, Be it unto me according to your word. Nothing will be impossible for God. Whatever challenges you are facing right now, remember He is the God of Elohim. You see, God, He can create without material. He is not subject to material to create something. And my friend, do you know because of that, God doesn't subject to logic. You say logically this cannot happen. When we see the doctor, doctor analyze like that, like that, like that, logically it doesn't happen. It doesn't make sense. But God doesn't need logic. He doesn't need to make sense. God only need one ingredients from us for him to do his work. Only one ingredient he need from us. To partner us, he need one ingredient. To do it by himself, he doesn't need ingredients. This ingredient is faith. God doesn't respond to needs, He responds to faith. Talk about Elohim, I always like to look at the sky. Especially night time. Singapore is so bright, you know. In uh, Myanmar, I can night time I can see many, many, many stars. Scientists discover in between 100 to 200 billion, B, billions galaxy in this whole world. But in between 100 to 200 billion galaxies, they only discover, scientists only discover 100 billion of them. Still a lot. Imagine the Elohim who created it and put it in place. There's no accident. There's no, I knock you and you knock me. There's no need traffic light, you know. Imagine Elohim created them. They need to turn, 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 turn. I put a traffic light here and the traffic light there and the green light there and the amber light here so that they will not have accident. He doesn't need to do that. I just give an example. There's a galaxy. His, the galaxy name is Andromeda. Andromeda is a galaxy. If you count at light year, that means you on the light, how fast the, the light show, you count the light year, we need 2.5 million light year for us to reach there. So if you are on Earth, you and I send an SMS to someone in that galaxy, it takes you, someone calculated, 5 million years for the person to reply the SMS. So the SMS PMO and Dwayne Nama Wano, Uma Gabami Gani Bro Eri Galaxy Andromeda or Message Bo Lai De Pian replying Pian Yabo and Dwayne Saude and Chinga five million mono million lenne five million lao jare. All of this Elohim did was just speak. Amen. Di yari alongo panzena Elohim wa blo panzena lesro no mo lai dan e panzena apse de. He just opened his mouth. He spoke and everything else come into existence. That's our Elohim. Just now we talk about 100 to 200 billion galaxies. And one of the galaxies is called Milky Way Galaxy. Milky Way 
in our naked eye, when we open our eye to look up and see, we are part of Milky Way galaxy. But what we can see is just one drop in the ocean. In Milky Way Galaxy, there are billions of stars. Milky Way Galaxy, God created all these stars, no accident, no need traffic light. He showed that get Milky Way Galaxy again. And one of the little dot star there is called Earth. On the little part of the earth is where New Life Christian Center is in this auditorium. Amen. God created this little star called Earth personally for you and I. Amen. God cared to walk with me in my little garden that I have. Would you turn to your friend to say, neighbor, you are not an accident. Right. God loves you, God created you, God chosen you. Amen. Alright. The next thing is Elohim is a restorer. Whoa. Elohim you know, I have a brother when he was young. He's very good in opening up all kinds of appliances in the house. Open until he will kill the screw one by one, open up. Nighttime, everybody go to sleep. He will take a rice cooker, he will take a fan, <laughs> open up. The next morning, you will see all the screw, kill, 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 kill. But the problem is he doesn't know how to put it back. <laughs> and my father tried to put it back, always got a lot of balance screw. Of course, that's it, it doesn't work anymore. But it's not Elohim. The one who creates doesn't need to book traffic light. He is not like that. He is a creator. He is also a restorer. Amen. Pension piaga kunaga jere go pension na kama traffic light it has ya malu be na matai be pension ta dalu bo no di niya de jap jam biro le lu song be na ne piya pshe de. Let's look at Elohim in Genesis one verse two. Kaba ujan kanye te ngai ne go jiao. Now the earth, now the Lord say, earth was formless and empty void. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. See, the word formless and empty is a Hebrew word, a waste or the garbage dump. It's not it's uninhabitable. Uh, right, there's no oxygen, uh, oxygen, there's no light, nothing. Right, you see, in Genesis 1, 1, God created the heaven and, uh, and earth. In 1, verse 2, God says it's formless and empty and darkness all over. What happened to Genesis 1-1-2 and Genesis 1-2? In between, what happened? In between, Satan rebelled against God and he got kicked out of heaven. Scripture reference Isaiah 14 and Ezekiel 28. You know what? Now Satan does exactly to our life. He wants to turn our life to be a garbage. How did he do that? He loved us and tempted us into sinning against God. Now, 
Cuma lu udah dah tuai sang lah. God, uh, uh, Satan look at our life. Ha ha, this one got sin, tempted to sin already. I'm going to write on it and turn this person's life to be a wasteland. Saran ga, cuma lu uji biro. Ah, di dia ga, apa tuai sang jenuh kaya ramai. Tuai ada dah orang, apa tuai lupa tuai sang biro. Ah, dekai biro, tuai lu melayar. Ah, mai, ada dah apa tuai orang tu lupa ni. But you remember Elohim. Just now we just read in Genesis 1 2, the Holy Spirit was hovering and hovering and hovering. And now in our present day, Holy Spirit is still hovering and hovering and hovering among us. Amen. What is he hovering and waiting? He's waiting for somebody to lift up their hand and say, Choose me, choose me. I am willing to sacrifice. I am willing to sacrifice. Choose me. I am willing to sacrifice. I am willing to sacrifice. Choose me. I am willing to sacrifice. I am willing to sacrifice. Choose me. I am willing to sacrifice. I am willing to sacrifice. Choose me. I am willing to sacrifice. I am willing to sacrifice. Choose me. I am willing to sacrifice. I am willing to sacrifice. Amen. Saran ga, tiada jenuh yang boleh ada tahu bahawa show tu yang lucu ni. Tapi pihak ga, tak semua orang yang naga tu yang ni berpihak ni berpihak pihak begitu pihak berlezat je ni. My friend, whatever you are going through in your life, whatever you have gone through in your life, mesti bawa nanti ada tarik mabe yang gue baca ni apa sih? Elohim turn your mess into miracle. Amen. Elohim pihak ga, ada show tu yang ni berpihak ni lekan apa begitu pihak begitu ni apa sih? Elohim is specializing in turning darkness into light. Yeah. When he does that, he wants you and I to reflect him. Amen. In my house, I have different uh, electrical appliances. I have microwave. I plug the microwave into That's the power plug. Microwave she eh, microwave go ah plug dia mah telai deh. The microwave just does the job, just microwave and heat up the food. Alu plug lalu lai deh kama tuah mana tu lama meh tau macam deh apu pe deh, alau tu ay disa kalau sah meh. I have fan, eh mah ah bangga she eh. I plug it to the wall plug, the same source, the fan just work by fanning. Bangga apa lai deh kama ah mi ah plug power tu lai deh kama ah bangga sah bro alu sah lalu lai deh. Siapa has iron? When I plug it into the wall plug, it doesn't blow fan, blow wind. It does the job of creating heat, generating heat so that we can iron our clothes. They are each piece of electrical appliances, different function, but they all tapping from the same source. My friend, we are each different from one another. We all have different gifting, different talents that God gave to us. But the condition is we must all tap into the same source. Two hundred and twenty watt and Hundred and ten watt the appliances you cannot use. You need a converter. God wants to show the world His salvation picture. The world must be able to see. Oh, this is the salvation you are talking about. Do you know each and every one of us is one piece of the zigzag puzzle to form out this salvation picture? Amen. Di kaitan cek ajan siro, apa yang mahu yang dua bono? Di mana jenuh dia yang siri nga? Air teri ma pan ini, agak nak tak kuat kuat sih pade. Your shape, your gifting, your talents different from mine. So tiye ah pungsan, bro tiye ah suci zu, nak dia nama tu bu? But we all tap into the same source. Di mana jemar roga? Ayam ni sura payah gu bono, yang siri nga pi bro lu sama apa pade? Genesis one twenty six. Kebawa ujian kan ye tengen nasi cak. The Bible says, let us make men in our image according to our likeness, says the Lord. The pen, Pia the king, Ngaro Pondarene Nyi, the Dedendi, Lugo, Pansin Jazo. Right. Image is like a mirror. It reflects you accurately. Pondaren lo pyore kama, ma mo no, ero pyore kama, ti cha kubhapshit esra go miyare. 
I stand in front of the mirror, you reflect me. You won't reflect the one next to me. God made you and I to reflect the image of Elohim. Amen. You know, God commissioned you and I highest, highest, you know, upon all his creation. We, the animals, the plants, the flowers are not created according to the image of God. Only you and I. Humanity is to mirror God. Christianity, Christian is to reflect the picture of God's salvation. Amen. We are to mirror him. He put his stamps in you and I. Have you ever played Scrabble's game before? Can I show you this a Scrabble game? It started with a big bag with all these 26 alphabet A to Z all messed up in this bag. Twenty-six alphabet, they have many, many sets, but all between A to Z. It looks like a simple game to play, but it's not so simple when you actually play it. You got two opponents playing. This game is to see who can form and create more words from the alphabet. So you put your hand into the bag and then you dig, 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 you take out 10, he take out 10, I take out another 10, you take out another 10, I take out another 10, you take out another 10. For instance, 30. So we got 30 of them and then we queued it up and from there we try to form the word. In order to form the words, the, the one who played the game needs to be creative to move it this way or move it this way or move it this way so that to be able to form the words. Can you show the scribble again? ไอ้สกะลงตะคู่พอบ่ยันตั๊บบ่เนาะ just like our life. We are initially garbage. One piece A to Z doesn't form anything. Don't underestimate this 26 alphabet, okay? This 26 alphabet can fill up all kinds of different libraries in the world. And this 26 alphabet, can we show the big one? 26 alphabet, right? It forms whatever English word you can find from the internet. But initially, you look at this game, it's not attractive. Wow, this messy, messy. When our life, when we before we acknowledge Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior, our life is also messy, messy. Yeah? God put His hand into it and then formed it up. Amen. But you and I must be willing to allow Him to adjust our life. Is it this way? Is it this way? Is it this way? Whichever way. Whichever way. Whichever way. We must fit into God's way. Whichever way you are trying to form yourself, you must uh, allowing yourself for God to form the lifestyle that He wants you and I to be. And together we form a beautiful picture of salvation of God. For instance, we have a visitor coming into our church morning service 9 a.m. 
They want to observe our church. They want to see the image and the pictures of salvation. They can't look at God because God is unseen. They haven't learned to read the Bible yet. So they learn to read your life and my life. In your workplace, people are looking at you, learning from you, reading you. My friend, that's why we need to know Elohim. By knowing who he is, we are willingly surrendering our life into his hand for him to tend our mercy, messy, messy, messy life into something that is usable for his glory. Amen. Elohim is omnipresent. Elohim is omnipresent. He is personal. Personal. He is plural. Plural. He is creator. And he is also the restorer. May God bless you. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for your word. Father, you promised that when we know the truth, the truth will set us free. Then we surrender ourselves fully and completely into your hand, Elohim. Lord, you create and you can recreate. Holy Spirit, you are hovering above our life, waiting for us to surrender ourselves and subject to your molding and shaping. And we are doing it willingly this morning. Come, Holy Spirit, take our life. Like every piece of alphabet in Scrabble game, use it to form it in whichever way you are willing. We surrender ourselves for your glory. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you.